Ah. Okay. Sorry, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm kind of um, making sure that my uh, recording is working by giving it a few minutes in the beginning of the episode to kind of do its thing. But I'm just kind of reading through these quickly. And if you guys... If you guys want to read them, totally, like, pause them and stuff. That would be good. And I will find Take our souls blessed by such a fact. A fact, a fact it is. We're in my seat here. Fact in any case. We are happy. Better for being torn down and mocked as inadequate in the first light of being so. Hmm. Of the Weirin. I, I, I don't know how you say that. The Varen? I think maybe Varen? I'm never sure how to pronounce that, but in my head, I read it a lot in fantasy books, and I call it the Weirin. <laughs> totally ignore the V. Hmm. Ew. Yee. Hmm. Ha. <laughs> wow. Yeah, if you saw that, man, you'd be traumatized, you know? Right, we read that. Yeah. Fire, fried demon. Snoofler. Oh, so we fully researched the terror. What's that little the little like the triangle the diamonds up for in the corner you know tusk it oh yeah hmm. okay so got all that i think this is where we're gonna be having a lot of time oh i thought i read this e Right. Hmm. Exactly. I like that. Author unknown, so they don't get freaking kicked out. Right. Right. Imperial slaves will connive and scheme to try anyhow. They don't. They don't stick together. It's kind of like the uh, Batarians from Mass Effect. Very strict clan case. Didn't I read this? No, I think it popped up once and I didn't read it. <sighs> hmm. 
Hmm. I guess separating them from the regular populace would keep most, like, for those who didn't want to hurt, mages who didn't want to hurt people, it would keep them at ease and it would keep the general populace at ease from popu or possible, you know, like in Skyrim, right, where the, the mages college, like, slips, like, like, right next to the mage college, the half the town slips into the sea, like, and people get really upset. Like, if you're putting them together, the people will be uneasy, you know, like, the people who don't understand magic or who even maybe they don't, they don't really care, but they just don't want to be the, I mean, obviously magic has, there's, like, so much that can go wrong. Hmm. So it's true, like, you're looking at it, it's like being really lenient fails. Like, and, but, but Vivian's like, maybe we shouldn't be so lenient, but, you know, then you've got the Knight Commander Meredith, where she, I don't know, it's like kids, like anything in life. Like, if you let them go wild and free, oh, I'm just letting them do what they want. Like, with kids, they, like, turn into these, like, snob, snotty little brats, you know? But if you try to keep too too much of a hold on them, if you're too strict with them, they're going to explode one day and do some, you know, just going to be like, they're going to, like, totally act out because just, just to get out of it, like, whatever situation they're in. It's true, if the circles can't function as intended, how, how are we going to fix that? It's an Equatorian. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Did I read this? I don't think I... I think it was glowing. Sorry, I just accidentally twitched my finger. So Dorian told us a lot of this about Tevinter. Mmm, taking advantage of the reputation outside to winter. Hmm, ah, right, no. So, wait, wait. Right. A magisterium, upper aisles of the Imperial Senate. This is the body that makes laws and which chooses a new archon for the Milk Air. And his lower house, the public in name, name, consists of elected officials, but has no true- Oh, elected officials. Interesting. It's considered a bureaucratic body. The magisters come from the ranks- Oh, okay. So the magisters of the magisterium come from the ranks of the triple magi and the imperial chantry. Okay. And most soldiers seeds by virtue of natural Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. So being a mage would kind of suck if you weren't in the magister. I mean, it's like you said, right? Ah. Huh. Okay, I was wondering the different. So the Chantry there interpreted the rules, meaning that mages should never control the minds of other men, and that otherwise their magic should benefit the rulers of men as much as possible. That's like a really convoluted interpretation of magic must serve man, not rule over him. When this requires to alter the chant of light to reflect this new... Oh, wait, wait. Okay, so that was... That's to Vinter, right? If, well, who's who's writing this? Let's look at that. From the Edicts of the Black Divine by Father David of... Con okay, so so this is... This is a guy from Tevinter writing it, right? By the Divine in Valroyo. Right, okay. So he's making fun of the Divine in Valroyo. Which is the White Divine or whatever. Um, the Clare... All of the Temple... Had, okay, so that's how they reflected it? Or interpreted it? The Divine... Right, Divine in Valroyo. Ordered the clerics to revert to the original chant. Oh, the Chantry in the Ancient... Okay, sorry, I'm like... It's, sometimes it's kind of difficult to read the grammar on this font. I don't know. I, don't, I think it's the font. It's like capital letters and like... Like big, capital, bold, 
freaking sand, no, serif letters. Like, it's pretty, it's kind of crazy. Actually, it kind of hurts your eyes sometimes. They refuse claiming corruption within the Rio. Corruption! Are you made that grew? Legend. Wow. Hmm. Okay, I was wondering, did they do an exalted march after four attempted exalted marches? Yeah. Oh, wow. He was elected directly from the ranks of the enchanters. Mages aren't allowed to take part in politics? So there's a thing here. I mean, it's kind of like, I don't know. Like, I like that Bioware shows you, like, both sides. Like, it does it in Mass Effect, too. Like, it's like, it shows you both sides are not good. Like, the, the, the extreme ends of different arguments are not helpful or beneficial in any way it's like showing you like how loose loosely they interpreted the rules here and how to Vinter's just kind of it's not a very happy place either and then you know but here like obviously rebellion happened here you know like in like right now we're dealing with the rebellion of too tight of rules Ah, so they did. Okay, so they had the reason because when the magisters ruled back in the day, the blights happened. Uh, huh. Oh, wait. So this was written by a, by a guy who was okay from the white divine side. So Duke Gaspard, he's the one. Is he like a? He's like the nephew of the of Vivian's patron, I think. To counter propaganda, suggesting she was overly tolerant of the elves, Selene was drawn to crush an elven uprising in Halamshral, and Gaspard's attack there destroyed her forces and cut her off from Valroyo. To counter propaganda, suggest. What's being, what's wrong with being overly tolerant of the elves? When was this? Like, was this recent? Hmm. Humans? The humans have been... A dwarven merchant, okay. Oh, right, because Orlay... Um, is trying to keep business as usual, which is a good, I, I mean, it's a good idea. You need, you, the economy needs to hold if you're going to have a war. Okay. Um... Whoa, okay. Hmm. Oh, is that it? Okay. So we did we get all of those? Sweet, okay. History. Okay. So it looks like we've read all of those. Yes. I think I keep thinking of Florian, um, the ice cream shop in Harry Potter. Remember? Uh. Right. I did want to read those. Um, okay, so this was the first one I've got then. Uh, his word brought low the bride of him, appears to hide his word. He's considered the lesser of the saints. Uh, 
trying to pop my neck. Oh. Hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, it, this is confusing. I have to wonder, do I have them out of order? Okay, I think, I, I think I'm reading it at the end. That's not, for the first leader of the Yellow Label, after the sun's was, right, right. Oh wait, no. Yikes. So that's the first one, right? Oh wait, so I'm gonna have a hard time keeping track of those names. My eyes are starting to hurt too from staring at the font. Okay, I did want to. I remember in the editing again. I, I've seen this, and I need. I wanted to read it. Harris, you're the one to cry out the hell I'm trying. Gaze upon its white walls with golden spires built in the broken dreams of the people, our people. The human prophet Andraste was a slave in the Tenetra Imperium, and as our ancestors were. When she rose up against them, he rose up with her. Together we fought for freedom. In gratitude and kinship, Andraste promised the elves a new land, the Dales. And although she died, her sons kept her promise. Our people came from farthest to venture to claim this new land. Here our journey ended. This was our Hallam Shural. As we lay. So this is like a thousand years ago. So they the first ones to People vowed that no human would ever set foot on our lands. Greatest of our warriors swore to uphold this vow in the Emerald Graves. One by one they came, invoking the name. Dedicated themselves, Emerald Knights. So, Solos was saying something once, like, you reach for Halim Shural, but that was but a shade of the original. called Shartan Brother. Hmm. I don't know who Shartan is. I mean, I know he's like the elf. In Hushed Whispers. That's the elf. Or no, the, the mage thing. Mo mage quest.
What? Wait, what? Hmm. These are my, these are like the main quests. I just don't see the point of crawling after a god who has obviously abandoned you. You know? I don't know. It's like the Tevinter gods abandoned the Tevinter people and I mean they're still trying. I mean it's like it's just it's weird you know like in Christianity you know usually God is seen as, as merciful and, and always welcoming and like you know he's he just needs you to reach out to him because he's already there. At least that's how I see it. Um, that's how it's how I've interpreted it. And but these ones, like the maker, is like completely like he's like done. He's like not doing anything. He's not helping them at all. But then they're like, oh, and the maker's will. I'm like, but he doesn't like he he's left. You know. Ah, the friendly spirit bestow the vision. Hmm. I wonder that oh a magister asked that but he's I mean it's good to question it really is like it's not a good idea to just accept things as fact it's always good to have doubt it will keep you sane as Dorian said well I don't think doubt will actually keep you sane if you do it correctly if you if you question in such a way that you are actually looking for answers and not just to be petulant or whatever then I think you'll be a lot better off you know and like looking in, in like looking for multiple places for the correct answers and just kind of intuitioning it. Prison cell is Hmm. Uh Yikes. Right, we read the Dwarven Rune Cave. We read. Okay, it's like it's so hard to see the little glowy. I think we've read all of these. Oh, so you can see the Black City. Hmm. Ah, right, read that. Hmm. Right, the Vitar. Okay. Right, we've read that. Places. Antiva. Wow. <laughs> Nobody pays attention to them whatsoever. Ah. House of Crows. Me. I've been wondering what that was. Antivans are well known for being good at everything but fighting. Antivans are the most deadly assassins in the world. And her such attitude gives no standing army. No king is willing to order to solve all borders, and no general is mad until they teach an invasion. Interesting. Ah, so if you ordered the invasion, the like it wouldn't be that everybody would die; it'd be that you would die. Uh, the 
city-state of Kirkwall. Swap in the names of our newest bandit hiders. Let us be done with the instance. Copy their names and meaningless honorifics here. <laughs> Tiresome assistance. <laughs> Posturing leader's name. Yikes. Deluded new interloper. Ah! That's, um, Hawk's friend. Newest invading crowned prick. We read this, right? Yeah. Elf Root, Spindle Leap, Blood Lotus, Dragon Thorn, Lotus Shock, and Flesh Purple, Dark Lotus. Hissing Waste. Hmm. So oh, ghouls be, I think that, yeah, I found it there. Uh, wait, did we? Right, read that. Hmm. We've been there. Yeah, that's where we got death fruit. Tails. I think we've. Ah, okay, so now we've opened Samson's Tale. Okay. I, in the 10 free downloadable songs, you get. Um, Samson's Tale is in there. Ah, I, well, I felt bad for him when I heard the song. Like, it sounded. very sad. His song. Okay, we read that. There's so much. Huh. Let's see. Where have we been there? Okay. Sweet. All right, well, that was 30 minutes, so I guess I will call this one here, <laughs> and I'll title it as Just Reading Lore and Fairly Quiet, um, but somebody did mention once that they enjoyed the lore and stuff, and I do too, so it's about time to catch up on that. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me if you watched this, and I'll see you in the next one.